Hello all, welcome to Unfold Data Science. This is Aman here and I am a data scientist. In this video, we will see how to implement the natural language processing or to be more specific, the text cleaning in Python. So, I am going to explain you the stepwise process of doing all the cleaning techniques that I discussed in my last video through Python examples here. So, let us start. Now, in this first block what I am doing is I am just suppressing the warnings. So, sometimes there are lot of warnings coming due to package update and other things. So, I am just kind of hiding that. So, I am saying warning dot filter warning, ignoring warning. Okay. Now, what I am doing here is I am creating some bunch of sentences. So, if you see here, I am just creating a Python list here okay. and then I am saying three parts of that list. One is I am writing some basic English sentences that is one sentence. The other sentence is I am just writing it for the demo purpose to make audience understand the basics. So, this is another sentence and third sentence is the point is to learn how it works on simple data. Now, if you see I have knowingly inserted this underscore here, I have knowingly inserted this hash here, I have knowingly written this I am like this here. The reason for that is I want that text data to be in the form in which we generally get the data as input data whenever we do web scrapping or whenever we take data from some of the sources. So, I am just trying to kind of keep it in the same quality. Okay. Now, what I am doing is I am inputting a package called NLTK. Okay. So, NLTK stands for natural language toolkit. This is a very important Python package for doing all kinds of analysis in natural language processing. So, if you work in, in natural language processing in Python, this package is you know answer of your almost 80 90 percent of queries. So, this is a very important package. Now, I am importing this NLTK package. One thing to note here, when you uh, install this package first time and when you try to you know use it. So, uh, in addition to import, you also should do NLTK dot download. Okay. So, I am ha I am hashing it here. The reason is I have used this package so many times. So, I do not need to download it again. So, three step guys. First, you have to install NLTK and then you have to go here and say download all. Either you can run this command or you can go to command line and directly say python m NLTK dot downloader all. So, when you do this, then NLTK function or NLTK module you can use. Okay. Now, this is our text data. So, this is our text data consisting of three sentences. Now, I will show you how to do different cleanings on this data using NLTK and sometimes not using NLTK as well. Okay. So, first step is converting to lowercase. So, what I am doing, I am just importing a package string. I am just saying, if you see this line, doc dot lower dot lower is a function which converts whatever you give as input to lowercase for doc in raw underscore docs. So, my raw underscore docs is all my sentences. So, this loop will run three times and it will convert all the sentences into lowercase. So, as you can see in the output all the sentences. So, here i is capital i has been converted to small letters some other for example, how was capital. So, how is converted to small letters. So, this is step 1. Step 2 tokenize. So, what is tokenization? I told you other day tokenization is nothing but breaking your sentence into words or if you have multiple sentences then taking your sentences separate. So, part 1 is called word tokenization. So, if you can see here I am importing from NLTK dot tokenize import word tokenize. Okay. And then I am saying run this function word tokenize on all the documents when I say doc documents it means all these sentences one by one. Okay. So, on all the sentences run this tokenizer for doc in raw underscore docs. Okay. And then when I run this I get output at word token. So, what I am highlighting here is word token. So, if you can see all the words of the above sentences are tokenized. So, now it is I am writing some basic English sentences. You can see all are separated by commas. Okay. And what is the meaning of sentence tokenization? Same thing, just the sentences will be separated. So, here you can, if you can see, I am using sent token from NLTK tokenize. Same way, I am running over the loop. Okay. And I am getting the output as first sentence, second sentence, and third sentence. Okay. So, this is about the tokenization. Let us come to the step 3 of cleaning technique. So, as I mentioned, the step 3 is about punctuation removal. Now, what are the punctuations in this sentence if you see? So, these things like 
I am, you know, this underscore, these things has, these underscore, this should be removed. Okay. How to do that? I am just importing a package saying RE. RE stands for regular expression. Okay. And I am saying regular expression dot compile and I am giving some code. The meaning of this code is just you have to skip the punctuation in the string. Okay. So, this becomes my regular expression function. Now, what I will do is I will just take this rejects function or rejects variable and in a loop. So, no need to be worried about what is inside this loop. This is nothing but it will take all these sentences one by one and run this operation. Okay. So, I am just saying for review in tokenized docs. Now, what is in tokenized docs? If you see here, tokenized docs are all these, you know, when I am printing tokenized docs, this is the output. So, it will just take all these elements in this tokenized doc okay and it will just check using these rejects okay so if there is a punctuation it will not add which means it will remove and if not new token which means if new token new token means all these words one by one if that new token is not a punctuation then append okay and then comes the new review so what i am saying through this code is go through all these tokens one by one and if you find a punctuation then remove that or do not add that in the new variable i am calling that new variable tokenized docs no punctuation now if you compare the output so i am running this here if you compare the output of this highlighted part and this here you will see that this has is gone okay some of the underscores will be gone so on hash simple hash data okay it was before now we can see on simple data similarly if you see underscore learn come here see it has become only learn so this is how you remove the punctuation now this text look little more cleaner okay what is the next step next step is removing the stop words so what are stop words stop words are nothing but most frequently occurring words for example a n is for the okay that those kind of words so how to do that so now our cleaned text is known as tokenized docs no punctuation okay so i am importing from, from nltk.corpus again stop words okay creating a new variable tokenized docs no stop words okay and then i am taking the ever variable and as input this variable as input okay because this is the latest cleaned text and from this variable what i am doing is i am just saying if word is in english stop word so i have already imported stop words I am just checking if word in English stop word then remove that out. So, what is the meaning of this particular code block if if not word in stop word English means you go through all these words and if you see some of the words are not English stop words then only keep it. So, what will happen this I will get removed okay? and this am will get removed this it will get removed this on will get removed compare these two you will be able to understand okay so now i am writing some basic english sentences these are the tokens which we had after punctuation removal has become writing basic english sentences so what all has been removed some very some very i and m right so these things has been removed now we have the much cleaner text in hand so, what all we have done till now? We have uh, converted to lower case, we have removed the punctuation, we have removed the stop words and we have done the tokenization. So, now we have the cleaner text. But what is the next step? The step is to do something called stemming and lamentization. So, just to uh, you know walk you through quickly what is stemming and lamentization. So, you see this word writing here. So, this word writing should convert to its root word. So, what is the root word? Root word is write. Okay? How to do that? Two ways of doing that. One is called stemming, other is called lemmatization. What is the difference? The difference is stemming just cut the words from the end, which means it will just cut this ing. Okay. And lemmatization will, will refer to a dictionary and convert it to the meaningful root word. That is the difference between stemming and lemmatization. How to do that? From NLTK dot stem dot water import water stemmer from NLTK stem dot word net import word lamentization. So, this is stemming and this is lamentization. Okay. So, just initializing the object 
just taking it in an empty list because I will make this list now and then I am saying for doc in tokenized docs no stop words which means take this as input ok final doc is equal to blank empty list for word in doc now go to so here guys two for loops are running if you are confusing one for loop will take all the docs what is a doc a doc is nothing but one sentence one sentence looks like this now ok so first iteration all these four words will go here for word in doc final doc dot append potter dot stem word so what i want to do i want to just run a stemmer so potter dot stem word now see here this word sentences has become s e n t e n c now this is not a valid english word and that is where a stemmer has a problem if you see i have commented here lemmatization see this line carefully i have commented here lemmatization i am just running stemming here let me rerun it again to show you when i rerun this what you can see is sentences has become sentence which is not a valid english word that is the problem with stemming ok it works on the rule based system so it will just go and remove these two words that is all ok but i expect it to be a valid english word when i do a lemmatization so as you can see i have commented stemming now and i am trying to do lemmatization when you do that you see this sentence has become sentence the reason for that is it is referring to a english dictionary and it will always give you the meaningful results ok so this is how you can use potter stemmer and lamentizer there are other stemmers also which you can use but this is another text cleaning technique ok now some of the advanced cleaning techniques guys i want to show you what is normalization and how it is done ok so there is a sentence here i am writing a sentence on the 30th jan 2020 coronavirus hit india with first case in kerala anywhere i am just writing some some text here ok kerala goi which which means government of india started acting and allocated fund of 17287 crores inr ok so let me have this sentence here and if you see i am using a package normalize from normalize import normalize so again you have to install a package called normalize and what i am doing here is i am giving some inputs from my side for example gy stands for government of india inr stands for indian rupees so this is custom abbreviation which means abbreviation which i know what is the meaning of that but some of the abbreviation or some of the things system will do itself ok for example what i am doing here is normalize tokens is equal to normalize word tokenize so run a word tokenize on this text ok and user abbreviation is equal to custom abbreviation means use these abbreviations also so when i do that now you have to compare these two sentences guys see here on the 30th jan 2020 what it has become on the 30th of jan 2020 ok see the change in the sentence this is called text cleaning ok this is called normalizing your text coronavirus hit india with the first case in kerala now this first would have been also changed coronavirus hit india with the first case in kerala anywhere ok so i am written one it has become o n e one if you can see first case f i r s t right and GOI it is taking from here government of India ok and allocated fund of 17287 has been changed 17287 crores see here so this is what this package does normalize ok and INR I am saying stands for Indian rupees so it takes Indian rupees now how you can use this in a in a practical scenario you know that TTYL in text stands for talk to you later this is the example i was giving you in my theoretical explanation right so you can create a custom abbreviation like this lot of things system understands itself this package is understanding that it has to convert uh, you know uh, digit, digits to meaningful english words those things it's doing but few things we need to give as input and then we can get more cleaner text so these are the ways in which we clean the data so i showed one advanced technique of normalization other advanced technique also I wanted to show you but that will go little longer because this needs a dictionary reference so I will show you in some other example how to do this I will show you this later ok so just keep in mind guys basic cleaning techniques starts from converting to lower tokenization punctuation removal removing stop words stemming and lamentization 
some of the advanced techniques are normalization and then you know type correction and this is how you do it so what i will do i will just take this script put it in my google drive so that you can access what you have to do you have to download an ltk package and practice with some data sets okay so in my next video i'll go into the next step so what i will what we have done till now we have done data import we have understood what is data cleaning we have also seen how to clean data in python so in the next video we will talk about how to prepare data for modeling in natural language processing text analytics okay i'll see you all in the next video till then if you have any question just write me in the comment stay safe and take care